Mazar Program. Times of Change. Social, economic and political claims of Arab societies have derived in a tide of changes in the region. Although these changes and transformations will in each country, the present challenge consists in consolidating and analyzing each process in depth. This phenomenon has had a deep impact in Europe, its governments and its societies, which are now surprised and admired. They follow it showing their interest and a little concern. Spain, a friend along the way. Spain has always been closely related historically, culturally and economically to its Arab neighbors, friends and partners. So it wants to live up to the expectations of this new historic period and contribute to the success of the ongoing democratic processes. Such is the purpose of the program in support of democratic governance processes in the Arab world. The Mazar program, Path in Arab. Vamos a trabajar, lo estamos haciendo ya en una serie de, de sectores. Uh, queremos uh, acompañar el proceso de, eh, de desarrollo de los derechos humanos en, en, en todos estos uh, países. Y para respetar a los derechos humanos pues tenemos que, que trabajar con las fuerzas de seguridad, eh, también con, con la justicia. Queremos promover la igualdad entre hombres y mujeres, ya lo venimos haciendo desde hace, desde hace tiempo y queremos seguir en este, en este camino. Queremos uh, también ayudar a que se desarrollen políticas públicas que generen crecimiento y por lo tanto, y por lo tanto empleo. En fin, queremos apoyar a las uh, instituciones de estos uh, países eh, y también a su sociedad civil en este camino en este en este proyecto hacia hacia la democracia. This program is the result of reflection and work carried out within the Ministry of Cooperation and Foreign Affairs. It is promoted from AECI, the Spanish Agency of International Cooperation for Development, and both Casa Árabe and Casa Mediterráneo have also collaborated in it. More democracy, more social cohesion. The Mazar program is consistent with the policies that are being proposed inside the European Union and it is at the cutting edge of all of them. Institutions and society. Each country has embarked on its own process and they will all need some more time to complete them. Maybe face some critical episodes and get over possible tensions through negotiation. Their success will depend on governments satisfying their corresponding society's demands. The Mazar program has two major lines of action, public institutions and main civil drivers for change. In both cases, the program will encourage interaction, supporting the main actors. The activities in the Mazar program are based on the needs and priorities specified by public institutions and by men and women in each country. The Mazar program objectives also include supporting the exchange of experiences among the Arab countries going through different stages of their democracy building processes among their institutions and civil society organizations. Human rights for everybody. Something Arab societies claim and will always claim for is the respect for rights and freedoms of citizens, as well as dignity for both women and men. The Mazar program will support processes such as constitutional and legal recognition of fundamental rights as established by international commitments, the review of current legislation, or new draft legislation regarding human rights. Men and women equal under the law. Women, both individually and within organizations, are contributing decisively to the change in Arab countries. Gender equality claims will also receive priority attention within the Mazar program, which will adopt a cross-cutting gender focus in all its activities. Job creation and fight against corruption. Job creation and achievement of social stability constitute a key factor for the progress and consolidation of the democratic process. The Mazar program will support the development of public policies aimed at stimulating men and women employment and social dialogue. 
Within Arab societies, there is a generalized sense of rejection towards corruption and illegal handling of public funds. The Masar program will respond to the demands for support to the fight against corruption. Right place and right time. The Masar program will give an agile answer to any appeals resulting from especially important circumstances during each democratic process. We are aware of the fact that we are facing long-haul processes. There will be moments when we will need to openly support change. The writing of new constitutions, the drafting of bills regarding high social impact issues, or the celebration of popular referenda or elections. All of which will have the support of the Masar program. The Masar program is designed to help achieve specific results. Results previously established by institutions or organizations answering to the aspirations of men and women who want to build their own future. For AECID, for all Spanish cooperation actors participating in this program, accompanying those employing their skills and strength in the day-by-day -day progress of democratic governance processes, is our way of responding to the historic moment the Arab world is going through.